Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Good? Yes. Like um, she said, my name is Yasra. I am from the Council on American Islamic Relations. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> um, now, I won't repeat my last name, not because I think it's too difficult for anyone to pronounce, but because my first name already means so much. You see, my first name means, um, the, it refers to the ease that comes after hardship. It's the word um, that is used in the Quran. And for me, my name carries so much for my identity, my history, and um, for the for us as Muslims. Um, and it's this type of ease, the type that comes after, um, comes when allies create a circle of love around Muslims who are protesting outside of LAX after the fir first executive order for the Muslim ban was passed. That's the type of ease I'm talking about. So growing up, I hated my name. Nobody could try to pronounce it the right way. Nobody could. Um, and I understand. It's hard. It's hard when you don't know something. It's something new, right? Um, but the worst name I have ever been called is Israel, which is the colonial pro project that stole Palestine. Um, but I will not allow my name to be stolen from me because my name can be pronounced and because I value who I am and where I come from. The reason why people may, you know, change my name or like, you know, it, it's hard to change it, but if, you know, like people, you know, change my name or um, not pronounce it right is because it's easier to kind of erase or change what you don't know. And it's the same thing with, with here that we, like where we're at with Manzanar, right? Like it's easy to erase or to put away something or a group of people that you just don't understand. So we have to recognize the significance of our names and make sure that our names are heard. Because when I'm telling you my name, I'm telling you the message that my life is speaking into my name and the message that my name is speaking into my life. So there's this hadith, which is like a saying of the beloved Prophet Muhammad وسلم, where he says that, keep good names because on the day of judgment you will be called by the names and it will be proclaimed so and so son of so and so rise and get associated with with your light and so when we introduce each other by our names we're also sharing a unique experience of our life and where we um, illuminate our understanding of the world and those in it so as we stand here today remembering Manzanar what happened here and those who suffered not only in the incarceration camps but in camps across America I invite you to learn the names of someone new because building genuine relationships across communities is a form of resistance the more we know each other on a personal level the more we will fight for one another on a deeper level relationships empower us to unite against a common enemy systems of oppression so I'd like everyone to just take a moment to get to know someone that you don't know next to you and I'll give you all a moment to just do that <laughs> <laughs> People you don't know, <laughs> not people you know. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That was nice. <laughs> so I don't want to take too much time from the man's and our committee. But I hope that you all continue these conversations afterwards, after today ends, after the program ends. Please really get to know someone who's outside of your identity bracket. So if you're a Muslim American woman, I hope that you get to know someone who is a Japanese American male. So please really get outside of that bubble. And um, I guess just to clarify, I don't get offended if no one can pronounce my name. I'd be more than happy if people came and introduced myself themselves to me and my full name is Yusra Amir Khafagi. Thank you all so much for having me.